And the second meeting tonight on the future I-69 bridge. Officials respond to concerns of an alleged Native American burial ground in its past. Good evening, everyone. I'm Shelley Kirk. Brad has the evening off. The second of two public meetings about the I-69 crossing project was held tonight, this time in Evansville, giving Indiana residents a chance to give their input. Plus, project organizers are reacting to the story that we broke last night about a man claiming to be an Indian chief who says the Native American burial ground lies right under the proposed I-69 bridge. Now, Eyewitness News' Brandon Bartlett was at tonight's meeting. He's in our newsroom now with more on this. Brandon? Well, Shelley, tonight's meeting in Evansville drew a smaller crowd than the one last night in Henderson, but it was that meeting last night that has many wondering if the project could be delayed. A man who goes by the name Chief Man Fox told me the and project organizers that he plans to fight the project because of a Native American burial ground that he says is located in that area. But tonight, many have contacted us raising concerns about his claims. It's the threat made last night that has a lot of people talking. But this won't be as easy as you think. It'll be a fight, and that's the what I'm going to give you, a fight. This man, who identified himself as Chief Man Fox, a member of the Southern Cherokee Nation tribe, received a round of applause from the audience when he told project organizers he plans to protect his ancestors who are buried along the Ohio River. My family's been in this county for 8,000 years. And so I don't want any of our graves destroyed because of their family. Man Fox told me the new I-69 bridge is set to be built right over his family's grave site. He says if the bridge is moved slightly to the east, the graves wouldn't be affected. Live tonight on Eyewitness News at 5, I ask Mindy Peterson, the project spokesperson, about his concerns. We are working with the gentleman. He has been working with our project team for some time now, and he has shared materials, he has shared maps with us. Our investigations are continuing, but of course anything that we would find would become part of the decision-making process, part of the design process. But we are working with him. Peterson says investigations in that area continue, and she doesn't anticipate this causing a delay in the project. Despite Man Fox showing us documents that he says support his family's heritage as the oldest Native American tribe in Kentucky, since our story aired last night, I've heard from several people and groups from all across the country questioning Man Fox's claims, some even saying that the Cherokee were never in this area of Kentucky. But we did some digging tonight, and according to the website Kentucky.gov, it says that in 1774, Colonel Richard Henderson purchased much of the land in Henderson from the Cherokee Indians who lived here at the time. Of course, this is a story we'll continue to update. Live tonight in the newsroom, Brandon Bartlett, Eyewitness News. All right. Thank you, Brandon.